Cape Town for the past 14 years. I came to have a life, or should I say I met have a life in two, 2017 in January. And I just wanted a bit of energy because before have a life, I used to be a bit of a couch potato. I used to exercise, but because of my bad nutrition, I'll be tired and I'll sleep the rest of the week. Monday to Thursday, I exercise. Friday to Sunday, I'll be sleeping. So it was so bad that people thought I was disabled. But long story short, when I started on these amazing products, three days within a trial, trial breakfast trial, I felt amazing energy. And uh, needless to say, I've not skipped my breakfast ever since. And as a bonus, I lost a total of 12 kgs of body fat and gained four kgs of lean muscle. And I exercise six times a week. I have lots of energy for days. So thank you, have a life. So with these amazing products, you get to feel to be excited and people start asking you and that's how i started on the business and reluctantly i started helping a few people my first month on, on the doing the business i made 308 rand and last month just calculated my total income i made a total of 13,577 rand and 73 cents so thank you have a life so without any further ado, I would like to introduce you to our next speaker, this amazing leader. I call her my mentor as well, and she's amazing. She's always there to help you if you need help, and she's got so much knowledge, guys. I cannot, but I won't take away from her. I will let her explain herself, and she's all the way from Sunningdale active world team and she just came back from the second leadership in Joburg and she's excited to share with us all the nuggets that she has and she's qualified for fully paid vacations too and so she's got lots of knowledge guys so please help me welcome our active world team member Lizzo Jardim. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for that awesome introduction, Pepe. Uh, good evening, guys. As Pepe said, my name is Diesel Jardim. I've got a background as an attorney, and that is when Herbalife found me. I was extremely overweight, had very low energy levels, but that all changed when I got started on the products. First couple of days, I noticed a massive increase in my energy levels. Um, I started to feel like a fog had been lifted off my, off my brain. Um, and I went on to lose over 30 kilograms on these products. I now have tons of energy, which I mostly channel into doing my Herbalife business and also a new sport, which I started doing a couple of months ago, which is Olympic weightlifting. Uh, the products really help me feel my workouts and help me massively with my recovery after my training. But I wasn't looking for another business opportunity when I started as a customer. Customer, I was really passionate about the products. But similar to what Pepe said, when you are that excited about how you feel on the products, you can't help but helping other people. So I started helping a few friends and family members, and um, I saw an opportunity then where I could take this business a little bit more seriously. So I decided to quit my law practice. I do Herbalife full time. I love doing it. I really have created a nice lifestyle with myself. Still working on building the income even more. I average between 18 to 20,000 Rand a month. And um, I've been on two fully paid for vacations with the company as well. So I'm really super excited about my future um, and what Herbalife has to offer. And I tell you guys what, um, I didn't just attend the LDW in Cape Town. I attended the LDW in Johannesburg as well. And you might think, why would one do that? Um, because it's the same training you're going to hear both weekends, but it actually isn't. So the topics may be the same, but they vary the speakers. Um, obviously, the keynote speaker is the same person, but he also changes from one event to the next. So um, for me, apart from the fact that I have an awesome team that's up that side and that was going to attend the Joburg, uh, Joburg LDW, and that's why I also wanted to be there, a little bit selfishly, I wanted to be there for myself too and get to hear the training a second time. And one thing I can tell you guys is that my experience between the Cape Town training and the Joburg training, it was like I attended two different training events, completely different training events. My experience in Joburg was way different to what I had, uh, what I had in Cape Town. I took probably three times the amount of notes in Joburg than what I did in Cape Town. So you never know what you're going to get, you know, and, and, and 
perhaps in Cape Town, I got more of an, um, more of a personal experience of things where I know I needed to work on myself um, and things that I needed to change. But Joburg kind of gave me, not kind of, it gave me the plan that I need to put in place going forward, the changes I need to make in my business going forward. And it wasn't just perhaps I should apply this. I came out of that event absolutely crystal clear about the direction I need to take my business in. And a week ago, I didn't have that clarity. So the point is never miss an event. If you have an opportunity to attend event, an event, and especially if you qualify for it, go for it. Because you never ever know when that one event might just be the one that gives you that, just that piece of the puzzle that you're looking for, that key that you need to unlock the next door. Um, you know, so I'm not going to repeat the training that we got. That's not even, even if I could repeat the training to you guys on a call tonight, it won't be the same versus actually attending a training like that and absorbing it yourself. And you can probably line the five of us up that were in Johannesburg next to each other and ask us what our experience was in the training and what we took out of it. And we'll all answer something different. So, you know, it depends where you're at in your life and in your business. That's what you're going to take out of it. But there's uh, three key thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys, which applies to anyone at any time. And a lady who was one of the main uh, speakers at the event, who was a millionaire team member this time last year and is now a 15K President's team member, meaning her business already produces one and a half times the production of a regular President's team member. She said that you need to understand that your business is 100% your responsibility. No one else's, not your upline, not your downline. Um, even our keynote speaker said, never ever put your business on your downline. It's not their job to know whether your business is working or failing or not. It's your job to make your business a success. And she also said, stay in your lane. In other words, don't compare yourself and your journey to other people. Do what you need to do. Focus on your journey. And then, um, you know, sometimes people think these guys get lucky and that's how they end up where they are. But uh, Super Mario said that luck happens when you're looking for opportunities. So sitting at home saying Herbalife doesn't work, you're right, it doesn't work because you're not out there doing the deal. But if you're out there on a daily basis looking to create opportunities to find people who you can impact, luck will happen. And you'll, you'll find the right people and you'll start to see success in your business. So that's basically just in short a bit of feedback from my side what I got out of the um, what I got out of the LDW and you know we've got one more event left for this year and then our next event is only next year and that's going to be our extravaganza next month in Johannesburg in Santon and some of you may have picked up the messages that have been floating around since yesterday about the tickets that are disappearing fast I can tell you guys we had over 2,000 attendees this weekend in Johannesburg and if all those people buy a ticket, or just 50%, I think, put up their hands that had bought their tickets already. So if that other 1,000 people buy their tickets, there's going to be 600 tickets left. So this is going to be a sold-out event. So don't think about going. And if you're not sure, if you've never been to an event, you don't even know why you should go, just listen to the stories tonight and listen to everyone's feedback. That should be enough reason for you to trust that if you want to build your business in Herbalife, that that is where you absolutely have to be. And the awesome thing is with the extravaganza, it's open to anyone who's a Herbalife member. So as long as your license fees are up to date and you're a registered Herbalife member, you can attend this event. It's not like a leadership development weekend where you need to reach a certain qualification to be able to attend. So I want to encourage you guys, and I actually want to implore you to take this seriously we don't get anything out of getting you to go to an event. It's not like we earn commissions on it. This is not why we're asking you or encouraging you to go. It's because we know what it's going to mean for you personally and what it's going to mean for your business if you attend this event. The guys who attend events regularly, you'll see the growth just happens in their business. And it happens three, four times faster than the people who don't attend. That's the value that you get out of these events. But anyway, uh, enough from my side. I would love to introduce the next uh, two speakers that we're going to have. Um, these guys, when you talk about attending events, it's one thing if you qualify for the event. It's another thing if you buy your ticket. And it's another thing if you actually show up after you've bought your ticket. And for these guys, it wasn't, it wasn't an easy decision. Because first off, they don't live in Johannesburg. They live in Port Elizabeth. And they were last minute, well, Azad especially was a last minute qualifier. He only qualified, qualified producer in the week of the, of the preceding the RLW. 
But as soon as he qualified, the decision was clear. Book a ticket, book an aeroplane, and get on the plane with his sponsor, Rafika. So, you know, I take my hats off to these guys because for us who are clear and we just buy the ticket and we can book our flights and things are done and we, we're ready to go, it's an easy decision. But for people like that to make last minute decisions, the sacrifice that goes along with that, and I'm sure there were sacrifices on their side to be able to do so, um, I take my hats off. And you, you just keep an eye on these guys. You're going to see they are going to be flying. They are going to be the guys who are going to be recognized for hitting their next levels at the extravaganza. So without further ado, I would like to first introduce newly qualified, qualified producer, Mr. Azad Sali. Azad. Woo hey. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Azad. Um, I'm all the way from PE. I'm 31 years of age. Uh, before Herbalife, I started Herbalife as a, a customer first. I was introduced to the products last year. I think it was last year, middle of last year. I did the three-day challenge and after I purchased shake did the products, a lot of weight. And then I did the product. And then this year, I approached my sponsor again. And I told her, you know what? I don't want to buy a product system. I want to become a member and see where this is going to take me. She then invited me to my first BBS, which was in June. And as when I started a member, I just used the product for myself as a 25% discount. And uh, when I attended my first BBS, my volume point was on 26. When I left that BBS, my, at the end of that month, I made 1,005 volume points uh, for that specific month. So my story is, my background is I was, I was I worked up for four years and every day food was burgers, 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 burgers. So um, after that, since I used the products, I weighed me actually again today and total weight loss for the last four months is 15.6 kilos wow. from <laughs> till today. So I'm super motivated. The products works well for me and also to signing up members as well because one thing about that I learned from the LDW and also that when I qualified, I didn't know about leadership development weekends and things like that. And then I got a message from Via asking me if I'm attending the LDW. And my answer to her was no, I'm not going because um, I, all I heard was extravaganza. She gave me a call and we, we had a chat about it. And, you know, the things that she told me, you know, I could, have, I, I could change my life either for myself or for my family self, uh, for sake. And, you know, I listened to her and over the weekend I thought about it and um, spoke to my sponsor and we were in contact all the time. And then it was last minute decisions. We decided only the Tuesday uh, before the LDW in Johannesburg, okay, you know what, book the flight, we are going. Um, we go going to Johannesburg. So I was super excited on going because I did not know what to expect at the LDW. It was my first time going there and I... Like I said to Bia as well, I'm going to expect the unexpected that's going to happen to me there. And that's why I, exactly what happened at the LVW. I learned so many things. I'm super motivated since I came back. And, you know, there were so many quotes that Super Mario gave to us, you know, by building your own business and also let your customers see the bigger picture out there. Because if they're not going to see it and if you're not going to show them what's the bigger picture, then then the, the, the business won't work for you as well. The other thing is also um, that I also learned was uh, you need to build sideline relationships with people. If you're not going to build sideline relationships with people, then then how are you going to keep your, uh, your customers and how are you going to do follow-ups? And it's also you need to do regular follow-ups with people. <clears throat> The one quote that I also liked about him that he mentioned, which was from Eric Thomas, was when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you will be successful. And that really touched me a lot. Honestly, it did. Because I believe if you're going to sit at home and do nothing, business won't come to you. 
you need to go out there, you need to go speak about yourself, you need to go motivate other people. And if that is not going to happen, then by sitting at home and expecting and just posting on social media and expect people to just comment on your stuff, a, a business will never ever happen to you. Um, since I came home on Monday morning, we came home. And as we got onto the plane as well, there was this lady that I, I met about a few years ago when I was still working at McDonald's. And I said to Rafika, I know this woman, but I can't get to her name. And anyways, I was sitting in my, in, in my seat on the plane and I was looking at this woman and I told myself, you know what, I'm not going to be scared anymore to speak to people that are overweight and that are obese. And when, while this woman was sitting in the plane and I, I looked at her and I thought to myself, you know, the seat belt couldn't even go around her. They had to bring like extra seat belts to put around. And I was thinking to myself, how am I going to approach this woman? Because I don't want to go up to her as well. And then she think, says to herself, oh, you only approach me because, you know, I'm big and whatever. And as the, we landed in PE, I approached her, we, we chatted, and she asked me, what am I doing? And I told her, I'm doing Herbalife. And she said to me, please don't um, tell me about Herbalife because that doesn't work. So I, my first question was to her, did you use the products? She said, yes. I said, were you coached? Then she said, no. So I said, okay, let me help you. Then, I will, then we can take it from there, you know. She asked for my number. I gave her my number. And as soon as I came home, I contacted her and I asked her, um, how would you like to do this? And she said to me, you know what? Um, uh, I need to send her some packages and stuff. <clears throat> Sorry. And then um, she said to me, uh, I told her there's two ways of doing it. You can either purchase products or you can join as a member. And she said to me, you know what? I want to become a member. And I felt super excited about that because, I mean, I said to my sponsor as well, you know what? The older Zod that didn't attend the LDW would have never done something like that. But because I went to leadership development skills and it, it boosted me, it motivated me more than ever. I mean, today I just signed up two new members. So I made that promise to myself and I take full responsibility to myself also that every month that I will be signing up 10 members. So I'm eight away from those 10. So yeah, guys, one thing, if you haven't attended LDW and if you are qualified, one thing I've learned also about it, if you are qualified, go. Don't ask, don't let someone tell you you are qualified to go. So one thing that I've learned was if you are qualified, go. If you see early bird tickets, go. Otherwise, you're going to pay down, not double the price, but you're going to pay much more at the door. And that's what we did. We paid 570 rand for a LDW ticket. We didn't complain. We knew what to expect. And we still went there. So we went with full energy and we came back with so much more. Thank you, guys. Awesome stuff, Azad. Wow. Thank you for that feedback. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that you guys can hear his excitement, but not just his excitement, his confidence that he's gained from attending an event like that. Um, you know, and that's what you get from these events. It's not just always about the actual training that you get. It's how that training makes you feel about what you're doing. And then that changes how you interact with other people out there. But our next speaker is just as excited. Um, she's actually Azad's sponsor. She really is a product of the product, an amazing, amazing lady. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Rafika. Woo! Rafika, you're on mute. <laughs> We'd love to Sorry. hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Liz, for the introduction. For those that don't know me, I'm Rafika Hart. I am from Port Elizabeth. I started... Herbal Life products in 2012 uh, while I was on maternity leave after I gave birth to my youngest one. Um, I was a preferred member. I needed to lose the weight. I wasn't going to go back to work um, wearing maternity wear. So my sponsor found me. I lost all the, the, the weight. I won the weight loss challenge and that got me excited. I then started on, the, I kept going on the products uh, for my own well being. I wasn't in for the business. And April 20, 2018, I was a couch potato laying on the couch feeling quite depressed. And I'm quite short, as everybody can see. So any little weight that I gain sits in all the wrong places. And when I do sit, I have like a triple tummy. It made me feel terrible. So I then decided, well, I've got, I've got the gold mine. Why am I not using it? Got onto the products, 
lost four Ks, five weeks after I recommitted to my weight loss goals and then decided to do the business as well. I've never been to a BBS during all the years. And my first one was in April 2018. And that also got me extremely excited. Um, my best check was 3,000 Rand. My best retail was in one day, 1,700 Rand. So imagine that I just continue and commit, commit, commit to my goals, um, what it can be. So dream and anything is possible. So this whole experience with the LDW was out of the ordinary. Okay, I'm laying on the bed. I'm actually so fast asleep after got injections in both my shoulders after a condition that I was diagnosed with. On the 23rd of August, Bia gives me a call. And I'm all in a zone. I didn't answer the first call because I looked at it and it was quite blurry. And I put it down and Bia phoned again. So I thought this is serious. Bia asked, am I going to the LDW? And I said, no. I've been to an LDW before without any members. And I was all on my own. And it didn't really feel good because anybody else had their members and their sponsors was with them and they're taking photos. However, the school was extremely important. It really touched me for the fact that I qualified and I decided not to go. I have a new member, which is Azad, that qualified. And the fact that I'm not going, what motivation am I giving him to go? So... Having a conversation with Bea, I said, well, we will think about it. And we thought about it the entire weekend. Now we needed to decide how we're going to get there, where we're we going to stay. And with all of this in our heads, we told ourselves by the Wednesday, we need to confirm whether we're going or not. Still an up and down. Our mindsets was not there because I was like, okay, shoot, what now? Now I have to go. So anyway, the planning started on the Tuesday night after we've decided we are going. And once that decision was made, guys, there was no stopping us. We were then excited. We were both online looking for flights, only to find out there was no LDW tickets left. So now we're sitting in a, in a situation where we've got the ticket. Number one, we don't know where to stay. And I told us that I will sort out accommodation. On the Thursday night, we still didn't have accommodation and he didn't know. So he thought we were going somewhere. I didn't have any place to stay, guys. But the excitement still kept us going because of the fact was we got this call from Bia, guys. We don't need to get a call from your sponsor. We don't need to get a call from your uplines to say, go, you're qualified. So with our mentality and our attitude being, we are going no matter what. So last minute preparations, got our tickets, we're leaving the, Thursday, the Friday morning. Now, Friday after work, we are leaving. And LDW changed our lives. We couldn't stop talking on the plane. Everybody started looking back. Who are these two? And all we spoke about was our experience, what's going to happen, how it's going to be, the people that Azad's going to meet for the very first part. And I'm excited because I have him on my side and I'm excited with him. We're going to grow together. The speakers on stage touched me in every single way. We connected on every level. All of them. Super Mario was awesome. And he says, we, were, we all offered the same opportunity. None of us is at an advantage. The fact that he's sitting in the United States doesn't mean he's got an advantage of us sitting in South Africa. He says, your situation doesn't stop you. So don't put a boundary around yourself. I didn't feel well. I had injections in my arms. I was in pain. But the fact that I got that call meant so much that we decided we need to be there and we need to go. It was to decide to go and then commit to go. The extravaganza, guys, is in five weeks' time. Don't be that one that waits till the last minute and then don't get a ticket. We stood there at the registration not knowing whether we were going to get a ticket or not. But we were there and things just happened for us. We were excited. The accommodation also came through. We didn't have to pay for accommodation, guys, after we were stressing how much this was going to cost us at the end of the day. But that's not the point. Don't wait. Don't get asked from your sponsor, do you have your ticket? Contact your sponsor to say, I've got my ticket. 
whether it's an early bird one, guys, that's, that's gone. You're never going to get that again. But don't, don't limit yourself. Decide and commit. All the speakers said that. Susaria Prinsu said dream, but decide and commit. Thank you, everybody. Yo, Rafika? Sure, 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 sure. Um, there's feedback been coming through on the, on the messages here in the meantime as well. You are really uh, getting people all psyched up here and emotional about your journey. But, you know, I think this is where the authenticity comes in. This isn't someone who's just promoting the importance of an event. I think everyone could feel the emotion that you experienced and the ups and downs and should you, shouldn't you and making that decision and then realizing it was the best decision you ever made. So hats off to you and Azad both. Very, very, very Thank well you. done. And Thank it was you. awesome having you guys there with us. It was lots of fun. Thank you. I got to see a different side of Liesl as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully the good side, Rafika. Definitely. <laughs> good. All right. So that's not the end of it, guys. We've got more speakers coming up. So um, this lady has attended her second, her second LDW. She was a first time attendee at the March LDW this year. And she quite cleverly made the decision to take her husband along with her as well to the first LDW because he wasn't actively assisting her or supporting her in the business. But that all changed after he attended the first LDW with her. And he actually came for the second LDW as well. So she's a real firecracker. Um, you can tell by the, by the lovely colors she's got in her hair there that she doesn't do things in a, in a boring way whatsoever. Um, but I know that this LDW also had a massive, massive impact on her. So I want to introduce Supervisor Chantal Esterhazen, who's going to be taking us through her experience at the, LD, at the LDW, but also be doing a little bit of training for you guys on hydration and the importance of fiber. Chantal, over to you. Hello everyone! <laughs> yeah. oh, my husband is shouting from the front house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hi. <laughs> Hello everyone. If you don't know me, I'm Chantal Esterhuizen, all the way from Limpopo, Lepalole. I am HR by profession, full-time herbalifer. I'm a mom of two babies. I started in January. Basically in December 2018, as a customer, 2019 January, I joined as a member. My best month is, um, well, I should tell you that I wasn't very happy about myself when I started. Um, Herbalife has changed my life. I now have the energy to play with my children and be more active. I have started walking and running and being all happy-go-lucky, more energy. Um, I lost eight kilograms so far and 20 centimeters. My best month uh, paycheck was 3,600. Retail took me up to about 8,000 rand for the month. It's amazing. Well done. <laughs> and then, um, guys, this second LDW, I'm, I'm really never, never, never going to miss the event. You cannot. I thought the first one was amazing. <laughs> the second one changed my life completely. Um, well, what stuck to me is when Super Mario talked about his Nike tuck, he's telling him to just do it. Um, <laughs> that really stuck with me. Do it scared, guys. Don't um, think because you are not good enough or you're not far enough in the marketing plan or you don't have good enough experience. Um, just do it. And I came back from the LDW with that energy where I just said, you know what? Um, although I was serious about my business for a very long time, everyone knows about that, I, my excuses came in my way, um, where I would rather keep my head busy with other stuff. Yes, it was still important, but it was an excuse. An, an excuse is an excuse. So I came back with the attitude of just doing it, doing it scared, and I'm really having a great month, and it is the 4th of September so far. <laughs> so I am happy. Um, I am seeing more opportunities where I really didn't think I did have any. Um, so this LDW changed my life. I can't really, I, I even got emotional <laughs> after the LDW. I was crying, and oh, it was all messiness. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I can't wait for the extravaganza. If, if <laughs> don't laugh at me, so if um, 
<laughs> if what happened after this LDW, just imagine what will happen after the extravaganza or the power and fire that's coming with that. I have bought my ticket. I didn't even care where I got the money from. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Just buy your ticket and then go for it. If, you don't even have to qualify it. Once you have a valid ID number, member's ID number, then you can go. So just buy your ticket, go for it. Let's go as one massive team. Bring the fire to extravaganza. I'm, I'm sure it will just be better after that as well. You can just grow. Um, Bia, if we can start with the, with the training. <laughs> um, I would like to um, tell you a little bit more about Fiverr. Um, Fiverr is amazing. Um, I love Fiverr. <laughs> Next slide, please. Um, what, what, is, what is Fiverr all about? Um, in a nutshell, Fiverr is essential for your nutrition. It helps you with your weight loss. It uh, contributes to your health. Um, it prevents the constipation. If you have enough fiber, everything goes through very lightly, lovely. So it is a weight loss. It helps your blood sugar. It prevents cardiovascular um, diseases. Um, and then the amount of fiber, guys, now fiber, you don't, it does, it's not stored in your body. So you need to take that every single day. So for a grown woman, it's 25 grams, and for a, a, a man, it's 38 grams. So you'll see Herbalife is amazing products. We've got the multi-fiber, great product, can't go without it. The fiber and herb tablets, and then your shakes as well, 4 grams and, and, and 8 grams. So we, our products also have um, fiber in to assist you in your fiber consumption. Next slide, please. Um, there is two types of fiber, and this is very important. We've got the insoluble fiber. <laughs> My English is not that good, which is not dissolved in water and does not um, change the gel-like structure in your gut. So that you can find with your whole grain foods and your seeds. Um, we don't want to do it in all funny stuff. We still want to keep it healthy. And then you've got soluble fiber, which is then absorbed. Um, and it is, um, yeah, because it remains it's still uh, solid in, it improves everything going through your body. Uh. <laughs> and then as a result of this, the fiber binds with your bile, which is the fluid in your digestive system. Um, and then it also, takes all those cholesterol and that's why it will help you then with your cholesterol levels as well. Um, and that is then found in apples and your beans. And try not to peel your fruit because that is also found in your soluble um, fiber. It is very difficult to take both of these fiber parts in on a daily basis do you, for, um, with normal foods. Herbalife is so nice that they, all the products have both of them in. Both of them are important. Um, so why not use it? <laughs> it will help you definitely and it is good. Um, what does fiber do for your body? It is weight loss. It's cardio, uh, cardiovascular improvements. <laughs> it controls uh, diabetes. It's not a medical claim. Um, improves your bowel movements and it's um, colon cancer prevention. Um, but I cannot promise you that you won't get colon <laughs> cancer, but it's definitely a prevention. Um, so it will help you with your weight loss because everything is going down smoothly. Uh, we'll get to the products that will help with that as well <laughs> after this. Next slide, please. I, I'm, I'm trying to just do everything still in time. Is it not loading on your side? We've got the mango. Am I a little bit behind? We've got the mango aloe on the screen on our side. Chantal, what are you seeing on your side? Hello. <sighs> Chantal, can you hear us? Since she has lost us. Yeah, yeah. it seems like she might have lost us. Uh, Bia, shall I carry on with the with the presentation until she rejoins us okay. again? Okay. <laughs> well, no. there you are. Okay, hello. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing tips to increase your fiber. Yes, now I can hear you. Hello, hello. Yes, sure. yes, we can hear you. 
Hello. Uh, she's gone. Oops, and uh, now we've lost her. Okay, so until she gets back on and, and uh, rejoins us again, um, I think we need to go back one slide, Bia. I think we might have skipped a, skipped a slide there. So there are a couple of ways in which you can increase your fiber intake, guys. You know, eating nuts, seeds, and fruits, that will definitely help. Uh, Granny Smith apples, raspberries have a very high fiber content, around eight grams per cup, and they're actually nice and low calorie as well, which is really great. So they don't have a lot of sugar. Um, Abos um, is another fruit that also contains a decent amount of fiber, 10 grams per cup, and tons of health fats. So if you're counting calories, you just have to be careful. And I see Chantal is back with us. Chantal, can you hear us clearly? I can hear you clearly. All right, you can have your slides back. Thank you very much. You can carry on. Wow. <laughs> um, as explained previously, try not to peel your fruits because um, that is actually where the fiber is in. So if possible, like eating an apple, just wash it off, but eat the peel because it will actually help you with your fiber. Um, as seen in the pictures below, when you have enough fiber taken together with water, enough water, and then it will go slide through your gut without any problem. The previous slide is with the aloe, uh, aloe vera that we have, the aloe concentrate, that is also assisting with uh, cleaning your gut together with your multifiber or, any, or your fruits and everything that has fiber in, will assist in your weight loss and cleaning your gut, cleaning your inside, so that you can also feel better. Next slide, please. Um, so yeah, so here we have the um, aloe concentrate that I've just explained about. Um, we have the max and the mango, um, and it also helps your system to remove the toxin and um, in digestive food that will lead them to build up in your colon together. Um, so that is why we need the fiber and the aloe to everything to help clean out everything. There you can see the different types of stool. Um, if, if you can, you can maybe take a photo. If you see a problem somewhere, you need to assist it with a little bit of fiber or a little bit more water um, or start eating something. <laughs> so um, <laughs> next slide, please. Okay. And then we get to hydration. Um, I, I love my water. <laughs> water is really good for a person. If you haven't known, a person is made out your body out of 60% water and your blood is 90% water, your blood inside your body. Um, it is essential for your kidneys and other, other bodily functions. Um, so if you don't have enough water, you might die. <laughs> So um, you need to stay hydrated. Um, I can give you example. I'm, I'm going to give you 15 benefits of drinking water. Uh, it lubricates your joints. It forms saliva and mucus in your mouth, so it keeps it moist, um, and it prevents friction and damage in your mouth and in your inside. Um, it delivers oxygen throughout your body. So you are taking in oxygen in numerous ways and the water actually helps that to go through your body. Um, it also boosts your skin and your health on the outside. So if you're not drinking enough water, your, your skin is actually gonna start drying and cracking. So once you see that, you know that you actually need to drink more water. Um, it cushions the brain, spinal cord, and all other sensitive tissues. So if you don't have enough water, it's actually dangerous if you think about it. If you don't have enough fluid in your brain or in your spine. Um, so most people think that you just need to drink water because that is what everyone says. And it's healthy and it will make me lose weight. But there's actually so much more important reasons why you need to keep hydrated. Um, it regulates your blood temperature so that you don't get too warm or too hot or uh, too cold. Um, your digestive system, as with the fiber, it depends on it. If you take in all this fiber and all this protein and all this 
carbohydrates, but you don't drink water, nothing is going to help. So it helps, the, the food goes through and it helps your digestive system, so you need to drink your water. It flushes your body of all the waste. You don't want to sit this, you actually can get sick if you don't flush out the waste in your body. Your airway is needed if you don't get enough water. It, it um, makes your minerals and nutri nutrients goes, also go through your... <laughs> Thank you, Bia. And what we have now, <laughs> if, how much water must a person drink? You know it's important to drink water. How much water? So you need to drink one liter of water per 25 kilograms. Although there's not a universal standard, that is what you should drink more or less. So if you are 100 kilograms, you need to drink plus minus four liters of water. Now, four liters of water sounds very a lot. And how can I do that? Herbalife actually has this awesome products that can assist you in drinking that water. So you can use your Herbalife herbal tea. There's four flavors. Throw each one in a bottle and you have four bottles of water. You can use Procore. That's also helping your immune system. But then you can put that in your water, giving it a nice uh, blackcurrant taste as well. Rehydrate to just push that little bit in your hydration. The aloe vera, you need it with your digestive and with the fiber. You can put that in one bottle. So what I do is I need to drink, let's say, four liters of water. I put a product in a bottle. So there is four liters of water, each one a different flavor. I don't get bored of my water. It tastes nice and I get all the nutrients, energy. Ah, I think uh, we may have lost Chantal again. Um, can we get the next slide, please, Bia? But I think everyone was getting the gist of what she's saying there that you should, um, you know, just vary it. If you're someone who struggles to drink water because of taste, there's no excuse. You can always find creative ways of flavoring your water. So that would have then pretty much concluded Chantal's, uh, Chantal's training. So when she comes back on, I will thank her for, for the awesome job that she did. Um, Chantal, I finished your slide for you. You got stuck there. You were a bit frozen. But uh, you were at the end of your presentation anyway. I don't know if there's a last closing sentence you want to say. Yay, water! <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> awesome stuff. I think if you don't, if you're not convinced you should drink water after Chantal's presentation, then uh, there's a problem. But thanks, Chantal, you did an awesome, awesome job with it. Um, well done. So next up, we've got a lady who really, uh, when you say that there's a no problem attitude when it comes to making a business happen, this is her. She uh, qualified to supervisor in six weeks, and that wasn't enough. She decided to push for active supervisor as well, and she qualified active supervisor right before the start of the uh, right before the start of the LDW in Johannesburg. So she had booked a ticket for the event already before she had even qualified. She was there and uh, she actually managed to get into the active supervisor training on the Friday afternoon already. So first time LDW attendee, first time um, Friday afternoon training as well. She's qualified for almost, not almost, she has qualified for every single promotion that the team has put forward. And she's actually holding that lovely little green pouch there now with her with a, a supervisor promotion that she qualified for, for qualifying supervisors so quickly with the really cool earphones, which I'll tell you about a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, Inya, over to you. We'd love to hear your feedback from the LDW and then you're gonna do a short training for us on the importance of protein. Hello, hello, all you amazing people. <laughs> I'm so proud to be on the school tonight and speak to everybody about how I feel in my heart. Um, yeah, can you have the first slide, please? So everybody, I'm Inya Milner from Lepalale, which is growing with tremendous speed. Um, as you can see in my first photo that was taken last year, I was overweight um, after my pregnancy that I had with my daughter, which is now two and a half years old. I've been battling with weight, I've been battling with being healthy, and it was just getting too much for me. I've tried almost everything on the book, which I'll not even mention everything I've tried because it's ridiculous that I haven't found her but like earlier in my life. And my son plays rugby with Nicolene or Dia, 
and I've been watching this woman for two years and eventually I approached her and I said, you know what, Nicolene, I've Facebook stalked you and it's amazing what you've done. What are you doing? And she said to me, you know what, Nia, come with me tomorrow. And I went and saw her and the stupidest mistake I could make is when I said to her, um, I've lost my job so I don't have money for this time. So no, don't worry. If you can get five clients to buy and shake, then you can, you can become a member. And I'm like, okay, did I do it? No. Stupid. Eventually, five months ago, in five days, it would be five months, I went to her and I said to her, okay, it's time now. I'm going to do this. And as you guys can see, my results were amazing, but the journey was not easy. Um, I, doing my cut to watch the Wolf King, I had a fight with cancer and I went through a very dark time. But saying that, if it wasn't that I was using Herbalife to get that nutrition in, I think things could have been much worse for me. My, the way that I recuperated is amazing. And the support that I got from the Herbalife team is even more amazing. The calls that I got, the motivation that I got. I know you're ill, but you know, don't give up. You're so powerful and you're a superstar. And guys, that pulled me through. And I did my access pack in four months. Four months. And a lot of people say, okay, how many members do you have? People, I have, I think, six members, which only two are active. But my retail is where it lives. Um, the most that I've done over my five months um, that is with my retail and my downline was around about 13,000 rand. And I can say when I got my first paycheck, it was wonderful. It was 158 rand, I think. Um, and then they all say just got better and better. And then I went to the LDW. Oh, my word, people. I was so excited. On my good call I had, I totally bombed out on them. And I said, guys, it was Christmas in August for me. It was just amazing. Everything that happened to me, emotionally, spiritually, everything was a motivation. So tonight, I would like to share with you guys protein, which is something that we learned on the LDW and the importance thereof. I also just would like to add, none of that I'm saying is a medical claim. Um, it all is based on facts and researches that have been done. Okay, so the protein benefit is amazing. And I don't think we all realize how we actually need to have protein in our life. And protein feeds every organ in your uh, body. Now, when I say organ, I mean your skin, your eyes, your ears, everything is an organ. And every organ needs a different kind of protein. So if you need to eat physically everything that it possibly has the different protein and to feed every um, thing in your body, you're going to be eating for the next 10 years, I promise you. But with Herbalife, we are so lucky. Because in everything we basically take in with Herbalife, we have protein. And protein builds our muscle. Protein helps us. Um, I'm a pre-diabetic, and I can tell you, with Herbalife, I don't get the drowsiness anymore. I don't. Um, I feel the mechanics my health is amazing. And learning about protein, I could actually realize why it's so amazing. Because it's building me. It's building me, and not just building me, it's helping me get rid of excess weight. And it's wonderful. Um, we've got a new protein select. Um, we're not allowed to make any claims, as we all know, and we're not allowed to say, do this or do that. But what I can say in my heart is since Protein Select came out, I've been giving it to my daughter, and she's two years old, so I feel it into her mouth twice a day. And the amazing result I've received on that protein, extra protein I'm giving to my daughter, is amazing. She is flourishing, she is growing, you can see she's a happy, healthy child because I realized how important protein is for my child and how important it is for me. I've never been in such a good space, even after fighting the fight that I fought, without knowing I'm fighting the fight. If it wasn't for the protein, where would my body have been? I can promise you now, it has not been very far because when I started getting sick, I picked up like this 10 kilos, just Everything that I lost, I picked it up again. 
but also becoming healthy and staying motivated on my product, getting my protein in, I've come down again. Mm-hmm. I've come down with five proteins and it's only been six weeks. So protein is really something that we need to take in. And it's something that we need in our lives to help our body function properly. Next slide, please, Leah. Yeah. These are our wonderful products that we can rely on to get what we need out of it without eating for the next two years. Um, my personal favorite is the protein balls. I love protein balls, all three of them. The express balls I've tried, the sweet things I've tried. Um, I've tried not all the, the sports things yet because I'm still going down. Um, but it's such a wonderful product and it's changed my life in the last five months, like you won't believe. Um, I'm not too sure if everybody knows what it is, but it's visceral fat. Now, visceral fat is something that lies around the organs that causes us to have all kinds of diseases and heart failures and strokes. And with getting protein in and the fiber that Chantal explained us so nicely, that stuff helps us to break down what is smothering us from the inside. It doesn't matter if you are this thin or if you are so big. Visual fact is something that accumulates and you don't see it and you're not aware of it. So you need your fibers, you need your protein to establish that. And these wonderful products that we have can actually prevent this to us. And we must just make use of it. Um, a lot of people have the excuse that it's so expensive. Now let me tell you today, if you go to the doctor, what does it cost you? Four, five, six hundred grand, if not a thousand, two hundred grand for consultation fee. Then you get to the pharmacy and they say, oh, oh there's another lack of five hundred grand for you. <laughs> okay, so if you compare that to our product, it costs zero. Health costs zero. You need to build your house. And you don't need doctor's bills. You don't need specialist bills. You don't need medication that's polluting your body. You need Herbalize, you need protein, you need hydration, you need fiber. That is what's going to change your life. And in the long run, it's going to work you out so much cheaper, so much better. And the way you are going to feel is something I cannot explain to you if you haven't tried it yourself. And like I said, I've tried everything. I'm coming in the 24 range. I've only tried the CR7. But it is amazing the results that I've gotten and how I feel and how motivated I am. I used to be this overweight, tired, horrible, totally horrible person, really. I feel sorry for my family, but I had to with me. Um, and it was amazing how I went and I turned. I used the extra product, the cell activator, on the tea, um, on the thermo, and my results like you buy some of my slides. It is amazing, but it takes determination. It takes that, it doesn't help you using the product, but you're still leaching your body. You need a nutritional life, and that's what we'd like about. It's not a diet, it is a nutritional lifestyle. And it is so amazing that we get trained what Herbal Life is about. And it's for us as upline to train our dying mouth what it is about. Because if we do not do what we know, they're going to leave us. So I ask you, it's one thing to explain what coaching is about, but do you know what is the possibility if you lack in protein, protein deficiency? My protein deficiency, like I said, everything in your body will have a different kind of protein. And if you do not get it, it really has such a major effect on different parts of your body. Um, it's from your liver. It's, um, you can, some rural areas over Africa and other places in the world, if most people don't get what the protein they require, the work of the product is horrible. Um, your muscle, your hair, your bones, your blood, everything. I have to be more consistent of protein like your consistent with water. Can you please put you on silent? Thank you. Um, serious protein deficiency can cause swelling. It can cause fatty liver, skin um, rashes. Increased severity of infections, sun growth in children. While true deficiency is a rare development in the rare developing countries, 
Low intake may cause muscle wasting, increase the risk of bone fractures because your bones require that um, extra protein to build, like they require magnesium. And if you don't do that, you are fragile. You are truly fragile. Um, for optional health, make sure you include the protein rich products that help us to be eating us with. Um, you can see all the, um, all the things that I put up to you guys to look at to show you that this is something that really can make a difference in your life. It's like not drinking water. Um, it can influence your life. And like I say, the protein how it's built me fighting cancer without even knowing it. Um, I was strong within a day. I stood up and I was walking around. Um, five weeks later, I was by the LDW and I was jumping and screaming and clapping hands. And very few people know what I went through. And they were like, the people that do know, like, seriously, is she doing this? Yes, I'm doing this because I'm full of energy. I'm healed. I went to the doctor and he said to me, wow, I've never seen this in my life before. Someone recovering so fast. You are like, you fine. And I said to him, well, I thank Herbalife. I thank Herbalife for being strong again. And I would like to thank every one of you that are on the show tonight that listen to each and every one of our speakers. And I hope you guys took note because this is something that you need to teach the people that are not on the call. How important it is and the importance of everything that we have discussed on the call tonight. And all of you are amazing. All of you are diamonds. And I'm telling you, I can't wait to see it. the extravaganza. Uh, you guys can speak your God then. I'm one crazy person. I'm hyped up and I love my team. And I can't wait to see you all. It's going to be totally amazing. I'm fired up with BSA. Tickets are available. I bought my tickets. And I would like to see each and every one of you guys on the call tonight. By that LLW. And it's going to be epic. <laughs> Thank you awesome so stuff, much. India. Thank you so much for that awesome training on protein. I really do hope you guys have had pen and paper with you and that you've been taking good notes. Um, so, yeah, we just wanted to cover a couple of training topics with you guys tonight, uh, important things that we need to focus on. So, as you heard from all the speakers, including myself, get your ticket for the extravaganza. Don't be that person that waits until the last minute and then the tickets aren't available. And we know from experience from last year, it's not that Herbalife says the tickets are sold out and a week later they say, oh, don't worry, there's another 200 tickets available. If these tickets are gone, these tickets are gone. It's a specific venue at the Sands and Convention Center that we use. There's health and safety regulations in terms of the number of seats that Herbalife can have in the room. So once these tickets are gone, they are gone. So book your ticket. And if you're not sure how you're going to get there, book your ticket anyway and work with your sponsor on how to get there. And this is why you want to be there, guys. Look at the quality of the speakers that we've got coming out to the extravaganza. We've got Chairman's Club members, Yvonne and Martin Ernst. They are 50K Chairman's Club members, meaning their supervisor organization produces five times the business that a regular presidency member produces. These guys are incredible. Um, the first couple of years in their Herbalife business, they saw zero success. They just couldn't find their way of working. They didn't know what to do, but they did not quit. They kept on searching and looking until they found a way of working that worked for them. And after that, they were unstoppable. These guys travel the world. They've got homes around the world. They really live an incredible, incredible life. But not just that. Martin Ernst is actually a very, very funny guy. He's got quite a good sense of humor, but he's a very... Um, open guy so he's the kind of person that you're almost going to feel like you're sitting in his lounge having a conversation having a conversation with him so this is someone and a couple that you definitely want to learn from then we've got our executive vice chairman des walsh who's coming out i've been at a couple of events where he's been a speaker he is brilliant in giving you an update on what the company is looking into um, especially in the next 10 years so that you know what the company is focusing on and where they're going herbalife is a very forward-thinking company and he also brings a lot of confidence in terms of what Herbalife's plans are and what challenges they may be dealing with, but how they're actually, how they're actually handling them. So you want to learn from him. And then what made me really excited when they announced that the LDW, that Dr. Dana Ryan is actually coming. She's the director of sports performance and education. I attended a first training with her at the extravaganza last year. She is a phenomenal trainer. She knows her stuff. This is the lady who works with all of our professional athletes. 
So she worked very closely with Cristiano Ronaldo, helped him to get his training on point and his, his product use on point. She works with all of the American football teams in the States and all of our other athletes like Heather Jackson, who's a, who's a well-known triathlete as well. But I know that Herbalife will not be sending her to South Africa for two years in a row. That doesn't happen often. So I'm, I've got the sneaky suspicion that there might be uh, some exciting news that she's bringing with her. I can't say more than that. Not that I actually even know, but you'll have to buy a ticket and attend the event to find out. Next slide, please, Leah. So these are the qualifications. You know, for the Friday morning, there's a tab team and active world team training. And if you're already qualified for, for those trainings, Great, but who are you going to help grow in the next couple of weeks to potentially qualify for those trainings? Who is close to doing that? Work with your team, get them to this training. Because each training session that you qualify for gives you a different experience. It's higher level training. That's why you want to get to these active supervisor trainings or the tab team and active world team trainings. So on the Friday afternoon, there's the active supervisor training and it's open to all supervisors and above who do their 2,500 total volume points in three consecutive months between May to September, um, as well as the guys who are already qualified for the Friday morning. So congratulations, Inya, you would already be in for this training. And then there's the party qualification as well. Herbalife throws parties like you won't believe. Um, and there's no, there's no party like a Herbalife party. Um, it's open to supervisors who accumulate 15,500 total volume points in three consecutive months. Or if you're an active supervisor and you've done your 2,500 total volume points in three months, if you have two people who are busy, to do, uh, busy doing their MAP qualification or who have already qualified, that's the smart way to qualify for the event. Um, so make sure, check your volumes, look who is close to qualifying. You never know, you might still be in for the gala dinner qualification as well. And then obviously the Saturday and Sunday training is open to anyone who actually bought a ticket. So now looking at the actual promotions that we've got going on, this is pretty exciting. So MAP qualifiers, uh, we've got MAP qualifiers already. Azad is a MAP qualifier, Enya is a MAP qualifier. So these guys are really, really on the move. Um, and the MAP qualification is doing 2,500 volume points accumulated over three months of which a minimum 1,000 volume points has to be personally purchased volume. So the smart way again to do this is you have your couple of customers and you bring in two or three members and that volume all together, as long as you've done your thousand PPV um, out of that two five, you will qualify for this branded smartphone. And the smartphone is actually available. It is now in the country. So the first group of people who have qualified for the smartphone we are going to be getting their prizes, uh, their prizes pretty soon. But there's not just that. We have our team promotions um, that are tied to this promotion as well. Next slide, please, Leo. So we had some recipients this weekend at the Joburg LDW. There was Enya and there was Chantal who both received um, their team promotion from our team. So this is not a Herbalife promotion. It's just for our team. And anyone who was not yet a supervisor who has accumulated um, the 4,000 volume points in three months. In other words, they've done the MAP qualification plus they did the rest of the 1,500 volume points needed for supervisor in those three months. They received this branded Bluetooth speaker and battery charger. And guys, it looks like a flimsy little thing when you open it up, but that thing kicks out sound like you cannot believe. So if you don't believe me, chat to the guys who have it in their possession already. Um, I believe the police have been around to some of their homes complaining about uh, the noise that they're making with that little speaker. So... If you like to make noise, qualify for this promotion. So that's just for members. But then we've got the supervisor and world team promotion as well. And you saw Enya sporting her lovely uh, headset this evening already. Um, you know, so if you're a, a supervisor and you do your active supervisor qualification of two, uh, three months of 2,500 volume points between April and November, you will receive the headset. If you're a world team member, obviously you need to work a little bit harder. So you would be getting, uh, you would be needing to do 4,000 total volume points in three consecutive months. And I actually just remembered, Pepe, you would be receiving this headset as well because you did your active supervisor uh, qualification last month. So there's the next uh, headset recipient already. Then every active world team uh, member. So even if you're active world team, you still have to work a bit harder. 5,000 total volume points in three consecutive months and you get the branded headset. Next slide, please, Via.
All right, so the vacations, 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 vacations. Some people are still on track for this, and there's a lot that can happen in these last couple of months of the year. Um, you know, there are people who qualified earlier this year already in the space of five months for the vacation, so nothing is impossible. And for everyone on this call, because there aren't any other active world team or tab team members with us on this call, you need 60,000 total volume points accumulated between January and December. And that volume starts accumulating from the day that you are a fully qualified supervisor. All right, so that you need, and you need to complete your active world team qualification. And if you do that, congratulations, you qualify either for Turkey, Dominican Republic, or Thailand. You actually get to choose where you wanna go on holiday. But the important thing is if you're a brand new member sitting on this call, yes, it might be a bit of a stretch for you to be able to qualify for next year's vacation. But believe me when I tell you that whatever activity you put in place now, Whatever you do in terms of building your business in these last couple of months of the year is really going to set up your year next year if you want to qualify for the following year's vacations. So don't think I'm not going to qualify for this year's vacation. I'll start my qualification next year. Do the work now already because the momentum you start building now will carry on into 2020 and you'll have an amazing year and you might even then be an early qualifier for the next vacation. Right, please, yeah. Right, so this finally brings us to our grid launch. Okay, so we had our first month of grid last month in August. All right, I just wanted to say that the feedback has been great, but I think that pretty much confirms why I wanted to say the feedback has been great. Um, it's been a really awesome experience. So to take us into the launch of the grid for September, I'm going to hand you guys back over to our fantabulous newly qualified world team member, Peppy. Woo! Are you guys excited for the grid launch? Oh yeah! I'm excited. I can't wait to see whose team I'm in. Where is Pia? The next slide, please, Pia. Showing. Okay, so. The idea of the quad system is for education, activation, duplication, the support structure so you can build a, a large organization. So it's important guys to, to join the, 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 the grid. Okay, so I almost said the quad. I was in the quad for a long time. Next slide please, Pia. Okay, the results from the quad, we got new world team that came from the quad, new active supervisor, new supervisor, new qualified producers, MEP qualifiers, new senior consultant, and it's lots of fun. You build friendships, you get your confidence. Take me, for example, a few months ago, I wouldn't even talk to people. But because of the support structure that we have and the people that you surround yourself with, you find you get that confidence. You get and you build your team and it's so much fun because there are people helping you around. So now we have our grid, which is the growth, responsible, impact and driven. So it gets you to grow, to be responsible because like, Maria said, you are responsible for your own business. You just, we just um, get people that support us and help us grow in the business. And you have to make an impact and you have to be driven. Our vision is to create a world where everyone can succeed. Next slide, please, Pia. Okay, so this is four weeks where you master number one the clear goal the vision and your plan number two you become a master of invitations number three you become a master of presentations and on week four you'll be a master of promotions so we get to learn all these things in in one month and the fun part is you get to decide how you want to work your business so you make you, you 
you are clear with your own goals and your visions and you plan it, put it on paper so you are clear how you're working it, where you're working towards. Next slide, please, BM. And the price is for great participants. If you move up the marketing plan, sorry, um, just one minute. If you move up the marketing plan during your active participation in the grid, you will receive an extra price, which is unique, not on My Have a Life. It's not available on the My Have a Life, but branded Have a Life gift, which is from our amazing upline. So congratulations for great people that qualified for the prizes in, the, in, the, in August. We have Azad Sali, our new qualified producer. Give it up for Azad. Yes. And we have Aina, the qualified active supervisor. Yeah. 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 And we have Pepe Lapi, who also qualified. Now, even the team, not just active supervisor. <laughs> yeah. So, you see, guys, this is what happens because I started in the quad, and look where I am now. It's the growth that comes with it. So now, without wasting time, let us meet our greeters and the greed leaders. So our first leader that I'm going to let her introduce herself to you guys is leader, which is it Lisa or Johnny? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to reshare my story. You guys heard my you guys heard my story at the start, so I'm very excited to meet who my grid participants are. So fire away! Okay, Lisa, I give you your grid participants just now. We call them the gridder. We don't call them the the participants. The that's boring. We call them the gridder. So, Lisa, are you ready for your gridders? Yes, I am. Okay, you have in your team Modelin Turonga, Inga Lukunini. Rukshana Yano, Chriselle Nayana, Nocedo, Noncedo Piccoli, and Monica Holtzberg. You Yay! Awesome. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Okay, our second leader, we have our amazing, amazing world team member all the way from Le Palale, Nicolin. The dear. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Hello, Hello dear. guys. Are you all are well? Um, I'm Nicolene Nadia from Lipalale. Um, I have been to the LBW with my awesome team, and it was really, really amazing having uh, having everyone there. And I went to the gala dinner as well on Friday, um, alone with Bia. Um, I must just say, <laughs> um, it's really amazing. You shouldn't miss an event. Um, you shouldn't miss a gala dinner. They really pull, pull all the stop streets out. Um, they treat you like royalty. Um, I've been in Herbalife for three and a half years now. Um, lost a considerable amount of weight. Feeling great. Was always grumpy and moody and took afternoon naps all the time. Every afternoon and no, no more afternoon naps for me. Energy through the roof. Um, yeah, I was blessed to quit my job uh, two and a half years ago. I'm doing Herbalife full time now, being a full time mom, being with my kids, my family, um, and just doing what I love, working with the people in a in a more positive way. I have a background in nursing, um, and it's really a, a quite a negative type of work. Um, a lot of sad stuff going on there, and hectic hours so now i live with my dream and i do my dream job and just happy and and doing all the things that i, that I love and i have time for now so thank you have a life and i'm really excited to meet all my gridders yay nicolene here are your gridders so take pen and paper here is for you amina peterson ricardo carelte azad sali Cornel lucas pamela sibanda and maria morgan 
Yay, guys. I'm so happy and I can't wait to see you. Awesome. So, and we come to oh. the next quickly. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> Sorry. Alicia, Olivia, put your mouth trust in. Good morning, Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> Is he writing notes now? I don't want to miss anything. Um, now to introduce our next uh, grid leader. She's amazing. She's got energy for days, guys. I can't keep up with her. She's all the way in Mitchell's playing Cape Town, and she's world team member Olivia Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Woo! My name is Olivia Benjamin, all the way from just Plain Cape Town. Before I will, I found me. I was overweight, miserable, depressed, didn't have energy at all. I was that sleeping beauty, but now mm, I just love this amazing energy. A measuring tape couldn't go around me, but now that measuring tape is saying 80. A skill that couldn't give me any kilos is giving me kilos. I've lost a total of 67 kilos and I'm so super excited to lose more weight and to have more energy. <laughs> so be here, please go ahead and send Okay, it to you. yeah, your brilliant Olivia. Last but not least, um, our awesome we heard here tonight on the call, Rafika Hart. You have Ruve Stuckey on your call. You have Robin uh, Robertson on your call. You have Chantal Easterhausen, Enya Milner, and Pepe Lapi Mushlaga. Yeah. So that sounds like everybody is happy with the grid. So we have that sorted. That's absolutely fantastic. And this is also the moment where we basically can go back all to our home destination. So um, I hand back to Lisa and Pepe to finish off the call. I just wanted to share with who is the grid and how are the grids. But I'm super, super excited. I'm thrilled after the LDW. It was absolutely amazing to see you all there. But back to the leaders of the call tonight. Thanks for everybody um, who were guiding to the, through the call tonight. But back to Pepe and Liesl. I'll go first, Pepe. I just want to say from my side, thank you so much for joining us in the call this evening. I'm sure you guys got lots of value out of this. We did run a little bit over time, but you can't stop people who are excited. Um, <laughs> they suffer from verbal diarrhea, which is a good thing. And hopefully they transferred their energy to you and they gave you a real feel of why you should attend the next big event, which is the extravaganza. So please go out and buy your ticket. We want to see you at our major showcase event of the year. Thanks and uh, have a good evening, guys. Over to Pepe. Awesome! Thank you, thank you so much to all our speakers to, tonight, guys. You were amazing, and I got more notes that I thought I got it all at the LDW. But after tonight, I'm like super, super excited, and I'm excited for the next grid. And I wish everybody the best. Go out there, change lives, and be live your best life. Maria says, live your best life, but don't forget, it's all about changing people's lives and guys go and get your extravagance so thank you everyone thank you Bia, for everything for organizing the call and thank you everyone for